the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Everybody outside is completely crazy. I don't think. <laughs> I don't know if they can hear me. They're not laughing. No, but, yes, they're completely insane. Um, okay, those of us who are less insane, we begin to pray. Merciful God. So let us call for that, that healing mercy for ourselves, but for the whole world in this difficult time. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. And you plead for us now at the right hand of your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. And let us pray. O oh Lord, may the exercises of holy devotion shape the hearts of your faithful to welcome worthily the paschal mystery and proclaim the praises of your salvation. We ask it through our Lord, Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me, Ezekiel, back to the entrance of the temple of the Lord, and I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple towards the east, for the facade of the temple was toward the east. The water flowed down from the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate and around to the outer gate facing the east, where I saw water trickling from the right side. Then when he had walked off to the east with a measuring cord in his hand, he measured off a thousand cubits and he had me wade through the water, which was ankle deep. He measured off another thousand and once more had me wade through the water, which was now knee deep. Again, he measured off a thousand and had me wade. The water was up to my waist. Once more, he measured off a thousand, but there was now a river through which I could not wade. For the water had risen so high, it had become a river that could not be crossed except by swimming. He asked me, have you seen this, son of man? Then he brought me to the bank of the river, where he had me sit. Along the bank of the river, I saw very many trees on both sides. He said to me, this water flows into the eastern eastern district down upon the Arabah and empties into the sea, the salt waters, which it makes fresh. Wherever the river flows, every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live. And there shall be abundant fish, for wherever this water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, Fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fall. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food and their leaves for medicine. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord of hosts is with us, our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The, the Lord, Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. God is our refuge and our strength, an ever-present help in distress. 
Therefore, we fear not, though the earth be shaken and mountains plunge into the depths of the sea. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. There is a stream where runlets gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in its midst. It shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of dawn. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come, behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding things he has wrought on earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now, there is in Jerusalem at the Sheep Gate a pool, called in Hebrew Bethesda, with five porticos. In these lay a large number of ill, blind, lame, and crippled. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been ill for a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. While I am on my way, someone else gets down there before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your mat, and walk. Immediately the man became well, took up his mat, and walked. Now that day was a Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath, and it is not lawful for you to carry your mat. He answered them, The man who made me well told me, take up your mat and walk. They asked him, who is the man who told you, take it up and walk? The man who was healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had slipped away since there was a crowd there. After this, Jesus found him in the temple area and said to him, look, you are well. Do not sin anymore so that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went and told the Jews that Jesus was the one who had made him well. Therefore, the Jews began to persecute Jesus because he did this on a Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. vision of Ezekiel is one of the most descriptive, wonderful parts of the Old Testament, this stream that starts from the side of the temple and works its way down all the way into the Dead Sea. The thing is that, you know, it's written about 550 years before Jesus, and and Jerusalem has been destroyed. It's a mess. The temple's gone. Everybody's in exile, and he's got this vision from God of new life and hope, and just restoration. And I was thinking, for us maybe to get a better grip of that, you know, imagine the scenes on television these last weeks of the Ukraine, and imagine if every bombed building, every muddy hole, every group of people without heat, or food, all the dead, if they all came back to life. That's the kind of vision that Ezekiel is trying to say. Or, or in the Sudan, in the, in the Darfur region with so many 
Tens of thousands of people are dying of hunger, famine, drought. Imagine water starting and keep going and flowing and flowing and flowing and people come back to life. That's, that's the image Ezekiel's trying to bring to us so that we could perhaps just get more excited, hopeful about our own lives and the lives of the world. This few drops of water, few drops of hope, of mercy, of God's love, bring more and more and more, and we can really change. We can really grow. This Lent, this Easter could mean a, a whole new me, and that's not impossible. All of it is also meant to say, in baptism, we are a new me. And all those extraordinary people who are going to be baptized at Easter, they will become new persons. But for us, it's a time to renew our baptism, to try to get new hope, new energy, new life. And I hope that this image of the water constantly going and flowing and growing might help us. And so let us pray. We pray for the church for all of us already baptized and for those who will be baptized at Easter, that the living waters of God flow over us and into us and turn us more and more into the likeness of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord Let us pray for Pope Francis and all the bishops, all those women and men who have leadership roles in the church, that God Always give them new wisdom and new courage and give them helpers and people to lead them along. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. <clears throat> and let us pray in these coming days for this tag sale, just that everybody be safe, that things go well, that God would bless all those volunteers working so hard. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who are sick, that as Ezekiel speaks of the waters, the trees bringing healing and life, that that may be true for all those who are ill, all those awaiting surgeries and tests, undergoing treatments, all those who are suffering still from COVID around the world. We pray in a special way for Tina Sikorsky, for Dave Kelly and Suzanne. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And we pray for those who have gone before us, awaiting eternal life. Pray for Jim Gleason on the first anniversary of his death. And also for Sister Camille Solis, the daughter of wisdom, died the other day. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And the Mass today is offered for the living and deceased uh, Stephanie Tinfo family, all the members, that God's abundant love and life would be with them. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And let us pray for the people, the things that are most in our hearts this morning. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Oh God, may your son Jesus bring us healing and hope, new strength and new life. We ask it through Christ our Lord.
and are you, Lord God, of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. God bless you. Enjoy the cross. Enjoy the cross. And so let us pray that our sacrifice will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. offer you, Lord, these gifts which you yourself have bestowed. May they attest to your care as creator for this, our mortal life, and effect in us the healing that brings us immortality. We ask it through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and, with your and lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for renewing and purifying their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so, with angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For at the time when he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, he broke it, he gave it to his disciples. And he said, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. And in a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Leonard, our Bishop, 
and all those who minister to your people. And remember also our brothers, our sisters, who've fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. So as daughters and sons of God, let us pray that his life flow within us, ever growing deeper. Let us say, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may this peace of the Lord be with you always. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Give us peace. And behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. And may the body and blood of the Lord keep us all together unto everlasting life.
purify our minds, O Lord, and renew them with this heavenly sacrament that we may find help for our bodies now and likewise in times to come. We pray it through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Grant, O merciful God, that your people may remain always devoted to you and may constantly receive from your kindness whatever is for their good. We pray it through Christ our Lord. Amen. And thus may the Lord bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. They used to talk about partial indulgences from purgatory, and the people outside are going to get 50 years off.